do you know the name Lee Sung Yup? Well, if you're Korean, then he's a household name. If you're Japanese, then he is well known by baseball fans. But if you're not from one of these countries, then not many people know him. And that's despite the fact that Lee is a baseball legend with multiple records and was the youngest player ever in professional baseball history to reach the 300 home run milestone. So who exactly is Lee Sung Yu and just how good was he in his prime? This is the story of Lee Sung Yu. Lee was born on August 18, 1976, in Daegu, South Korea. He was a highly touted pitcher in his youth, and his hometown Samsung Lions drafted him in 1994 for his arm. But due to injury concerns with his elbow, he converted to a first baseman, and immediately made his debut as an 18-year-old. In his rookie year, Lee slashed 285, 351, 477 with 29 doubles and 13 home runs in 121 games, quickly establishing himself as a promising up-and-coming talent. He maintained similar production the following year with 32 doubles and 9 homers, but his first true breakthrough came in 1997 as the then 20-year-old exploded for 37 doubles and 32 homers with a 329, 391, 598 slash line en route to the batting title, RBI title, and MVP award. Despite not being a very big guy standing in at just 6 foot and well below 200 pounds, Lee's power was unquestionable, derived from his unorthodox swing, almost reminiscent of the great Sadaharu O. Oh. Lee then continued his immense power output, winning four more MVP awards in 1999, 2001, 2002, and 2003 for a total of five. Across 900 games during his peak years from 1997 to 2003, Lee hit 231 doubles, 11 triples, 302 home runs, 799 RBIs, and 2,202 total bases with a slash line of 308, 420, 650 for an OPS of 1070. And despite his slugging profile, Lee maintained a very respectable contact rate, only striking out at a 17.9% clip while walking 14.8% of the time. But by far the most impressive of these seasons were 1999 and 2003. He shattered the KBO home run record in 1999 with 54 homers in 132 games, posting a monstrous 1190 OPS with 128 runs, 123 ribbies, and 112 walks. But in 2003, Lee decided to one-up himself, blasting 56 bombs in 131 games, breaking Sadaharu O's all-Asian record of 55 home runs in a season while driving in 144 runs, a KBO record at that time. He even walked more than he struck out and became the youngest player ever to reach the 300 home run milestone at just 26, a historically colossal season in any league across the world. And after a season like that, Lee decided to take the next step and take his talents to Japan, signing a two-year deal with the Chibalote Marines in 2004. Lee was still in his prime at just 28 years old, and he was already well on his way to becoming the greatest Korean player of all time. So to say expectations were pretty high would be an understatement. Unfortunately though, Lee's MPB career did not get off to the start he was hoping for. He was just not able to fully adjust to the off-speed heavy pitching in Japan, and he was actually so poor in the early going that he even got demoted to the farm team at one point. Lee ended up playing in 100 games in the 2004 season, posting a decidedly mediocre 779 OPS with 14 home runs. So was that it? Was the GOAT of Korean baseball just an average player in Japan? Those were certainly the type of comments some fans started throwing around after Lee's disappointing debut campaign. But Lee was determined to succeed. This meant more than just his own success. If Lee didn't perform up to par, foreign teams may become more reluctant to take a chance on future Korean stars. So Lee knew 
that he had to turn things around, and he did just that in the 2005 season, hitting 260, 315, 551 with 25 doubles, 30 homers, and 82 RBIs in 117 games, making the All-Star team and helping the Marines win their first championship in over three decades as he hit three homers in just four games in the Japan Series that year. But 2005 was only a preview of what's to come. That offseason, Lee signed with the Yomiuri Giants, and his 2006 season was one to remember. In March, Lee represented the South Korean national team in the inaugural World Baseball Classic and set the tone for his entire season, hitting a tournament best 5 home runs and 10 RBIs, including a clutch go-ahead 2-run homer in the 8th inning against Japan in front of a crowd of over 40,000 in the final Pool A matchup to secure South Korea's top position in pool play. South Korea's undefeated tournament run did come to an end at the hands of Japan in the semi-finals, but Lee was surely in for a big year after being named to the All-WBC team. And he delivered. Hitting cleanup for the Giants from opening day, Lee hit 323, 389, 615 with 30 doubles, 41 homers, and 108 runs batted in with 5.9 wins above replacement across 143 games, earning his second bid to the All-Star game. He finished 2nd in the Central League in batting average, 5th in on-base percentage, 3rd in slugging percentage, 3rd in OPS, and 2nd in home runs, proving his worth as one of the premier sluggers in all of Asia. And on August 1st of that year, Lee entered the history books, becoming only the 3rd player in professional baseball history to hit 400 home runs before the age of 30. The other two players? Just a pair of legends by the name of Alex Rodriguez and Sadaharu Oh. His production would fall the following season, but he still posted a respectable 823 OPS with 30 bombs, helping lead the Giants to the Japan Series throne. Battling various injuries, Lee's numbers would take another dip in 2008, but he participated in the Beijing Olympics for the Korean national team and hit pivotal home runs in both the semi-final game against Japan and in the finals against Cuba to lead South Korea to the gold medal. Lee stayed with the Giants until the end of the 2010 season, no longer the star he once was, but still a major power threat, as indicated by his 255 isolated power in 2009. He would go on to sign with the Oryx Buffaloes for the 2011 season, but after struggling for much of the year, Lee's time in Japan would come to an end. His 8-year MPB career was a mixed bag, but mostly a success. Overall, he hit 159 home runs with a slugging percentage of 494, and an OPS of 818 in 797 games. But if you just look at his prime years from 2005 to 2009, his numbers look far better. 125 dingers, a 537 slugging percentage, an 8.1% walk rate, a 20.8% strikeout rate, and an 877 OPS in 519 games. That's all-star level production. And Lee would head back to the Samsung Lions in 2012 to finish his career where it all began. But already 35 years old, many fans likely wondered if Lee had anything left in the tank, especially after such a poor finish in Japan. But Lee soon proved his doubters wrong, hitting 307, 384, 502 with 28 doubles and 21 homers in his first year back in Daegu, even winning the Korean Series MVP. Lee was back, and he was ready to cement his name as the greatest player in KBO history. After a down 2013, Lee put up four more All-Star caliber seasons, posting averages north of 300 in three consecutive seasons, as well as 32, 26, and 27 home runs, helping the Lions in three of their four consecutive championships between 2011 and 2014. And in his final farewell tour in 2017 at the age of 40, Lee made sure everyone would remember his name with 24 homers and an 864 OPS in 135 games. But most importantly, in the very last game of his career, Lee went out on top, crushing two more homers to stretch the all-time KBO record in home runs to 467. Lee's final years in Korea may not have been the historic monster seasons of his youth, but he was still an incredibly productive and dangerous player until his very last day, as he hit 143 home runs with an 871 OPS between 2012 and 2017. By the time he retired, Lee cemented himself as the Korean GOAT. 
and to this day he holds the KBO career records in home runs at 467, runs scored at 1355, RBIs at 1498, total bases at 4077, slugging percentage at 572, and OPS at 960. Between the KBO and MPB, Lee hit an astonishing 602 doubles, 36 triples, and 626 home runs in 2,703 games. So that's the story of Lee Sung Yu. 5 KBO MVPs, 10 KBO Golden Glove Awards, 4 Korean Series Championships, 2 Japan Series Championships, and an Olympic Gold Medal. Those are just a handful of Lee's many achievements during his 23-year career, and this chart outlining Lee's home run totals by year says it all. At his peak, Lee was an all-time great, but he struggled at points during his career. Every time he faced a setback though, Lee seemingly came back stronger, and that's the kind of determination it takes to become one of the greatest athletes to ever grace East Asia. Special thanks to my patrons, Chris J, Jonathan Greenberg, Hinosato Yaku, Poker Pack Rat, Corgi Racing, Anthony Ping, Jake Royce, Marcus Hill, Ewerbird, Ryan Fox, Jeff W, Shar Aznable, Juan Jose Sanchez Bracamontes, Christopher Woods, Samantha Garave, Yuki Summerine, Kud, Jem Morelos, Gabriel Foss, Kurt Berglund, Eduardo Granados, Kotaro Imahayashi Kim, J1, Tom Musa, Mike Braun, Lucas Bora, Stu22, and Alex Irish. If you'd like to become a patron yourself, please check out patreon.com slash baseballcosmo. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more MPB content in English.